action. All right, so first of all, I got this um, shirt pretty well laid out. Um, I'll make it a little bit darker so you can see where I'm going. Um, keep your outlines pretty light though. Don't go too dark with your outlines. Um, those won't be too good. It's just so you can see what I'm doing. Shirt here, it's about this side. And her uh, junk comes out here. Shirt comes down here and then ends. Okay, so I got that. Bam, this comes down here in the other end over here. I got the major fold there. Man, this is really dirty. Okay, so then, watch this. Use a hand condom. Use a hand condom right there. Take my eraser. Set it down right there on the ground. And then erase all the grids. Although I didn't really use grids on this, but that's okay. That's why it's so messed up. And look how I go different directions, though. Different directions. Cancel each other out. Every once in a while, dust it off using a tissue. <clears throat> Come up here, do the same thing. It's getting pretty clean. Like, you'll think it looks clean when I'm done. Let me see the powder of graphite going there, though. It'll uh, exaggerate some of these bad stains. All right, so that part's getting there. Now do the same thing. You can do this yours while you're uh, waiting. So while you're waiting, go ahead and use this. Um, start erasing out some of your uh, your grids. And using that same technique. Wide part of the eraser. A lot of different directions. If you just go one direction, there's a little bit of a gap. You'll be able to see that gap. Pretty easy. Okay, now I got some erasing giblets. I'll get rid of those. Now I'll come in here to this. And get that going as well. All right. And if you accidentally erase some of your folds or your lines, you can just redraw them in later. When you outline your folds, keep them pretty light though. You don't want to see like a line when you're done. Okay, different directions. Hopefully you guys are getting that done. Okay. Now, once again, it's a little splotchy, but that's okay. All right. What step was that? I'm feeling good. On your practice, like right here, you're going to do a smaller pad. So right here, I'll show you a smaller pad. So smaller pad here for scale, I'm going to like make a small pad like this. Small little pad, about, you know, about this size. Next thing to do is to dip it in a powder graphite. Rub most of it off, though. Okay, here's my powder graphite. I'll get an extra little hand condom. That I'll use to put graphite on. Okay. Now, watch this. Here it goes. Got my paper right there. Got my little small pad. And when you dip that in there, see this little dip? Got the powder graphite in there. Now, on a blank sheet of paper, rub most of it off. Unless it's a really dark shirt. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually shade this in. Here's how it works. All right, watch the screen on this one. This is magical right here. Maybe I'll use um, this to kind of shield it a little bit. Or you can use your French curve. You're gonna start on the bottom, like this. And make sure you're watching right here. This is a crucial, crucial part right here. It makes a big difference. I'll start here. I'm gonna go up to where the folds are going. But when I go up though, I'm gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth like this as I go up, really tiny spots. So oh, here it goes. I'm gonna go up here. Small little deals. Right now I have three fingers. I'm going to get a big, wide section right here. If I want smaller, I'll go to one finger. So it's like wide down here. And as it goes up, I'm going to go to one finger to get the fold. Okay. All right, show you again. Powder graphite. Dip it in there. <clears throat> Cover up some of the shirt. And march right on up there. Smaller, 
go up to this little fold. Skinny, one finger and three fingers and come down. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Over here, I'll start over. And the key is wiggling your fingers. So in your notes, I would write down how you're shading it down. You want to start at the bottom, work your way up, and watch this. Here it goes. I'm going to go from one, three fingers, then here it goes. Here's the transition. Here it goes. Watch this. Here it goes. And then one finger. And it goes from like wide to skinny. It's kind of magical. Make sure you guys are practicing. Before you do your, uh, your final project, the same thing here. Super small, wiggly lines. Let's see how small it is. Super small. Now I'll go to one finger, and then I'll like fade it out down here. This is gonna be the shadow side. I'll make this a little bit darker. And I'll fade it out more on this side. Same techniques. If you take your time with it, it'll look pretty dang good. Okay, so right now this is a little bit on the dark side. Uh, not a big deal, because all I have to do is like see this dirty tissue. All I have to do is peel a little bit off or wrap it with the clean one like this and go back into it again. Small lines, go all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. So they're not small strokes, you're going all the way up the length of the shirt, the length of the folds. You don't want to do like a bunch of little tiny lines or anything, because <clears throat> that would look ridiculous. All right, here, do the same thing on this shirt, right here. Go on up, use one finger, and curve up to the shoulder. All right, and then I'll prep the final one so you get to see the real, real deal. So I got some folds in there. Uh, I could go a little darker under the <clears throat> chest. A little bit darker here. I'll just kind of stop it right above it. And it looks a little bit messy at this phase. But then I'll get cleaned up, so don't panic. Um, plus this is the notes where they don't really look as good. <clears throat> okay. Now I'll do the same thing with this one. Now since it's bigger, when I show you this one, I'll come in about that size. Nice fat pad. No wrinkles on it. Um, that's pretty smooth. <clears throat> Fold it up. Dip the powder graphite. Just like that, rub most of it off. And then I'll start down here in the bottom. And you see where the shirt goes. And look at my reference. There it is. Okay. So it's gonna go smooth here. Darker on the top. So see how slow I'm going? There's no major dark areas going on there yet. Yeah, I would lie a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. So this, see how smooth this is right here? Super smooth. So I'm going to add in just a few. So it looks a little more realistic. You could get another reference for it. I wouldn't try to make up folds though. And the reason is because uh, on folds, like they're only tighter around the neck, tighter the armpits, and they get bigger. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll do this whole side right here. All right, so I'm going up and down. Pretty simple. I'll do like half the shirt today. And I'll show you the other half tomorrow. Okay, so value-wise, think about your values. So you could cheat your values if it's like solid black, but you don't really want. Um, you can make it a little bit lighter than you need to, or you can make it a little darker than you need to. And this is pretty smooth except for the wrinkles. And I'll show you those here in a second too. Okay. Then I'll use my French curve. 
There's my French curve right there. I'll take my French curve, map that out. This is the other side now, so instead of like the other curve, I'll blend it out here a little bit. And blend that. Come up here. You have a nice clean edge. I'll do the same thing right here. Okay, nice clean edges. Overall, need some shadows. Okay. Now, this is kind of a long demo, but it's not as long as the hair shows. This is going by pretty quick. The reason why I won't be able to finish it is pretty fast is because everything's really easy once you learn how to do hair. Once you learn how to do hair, it's like basic value, we raise out the highlights, add the shadows. That is true with literally everything. All right, so next step. In your notes, write down your race out your highlights. And it depends on like how tight the wrinkles are. In general, though, you want like a smooth uh, eraser. So right here, this is like way too sharp. If you look how pointy that is, <clears throat> too sharp for a fold. So I'll come in here, round out one of the edges. Now it's a little soft and round. Let's put paper there. So right here, see how round that is? A little bit more rounded, a little easier to do. And where'd she go? There she is. Okay, for the folds, come in here and watch how light this is. So it's like super light. Remember, it's not an eraser, it's a white pencil. So I don't try to go too fast or too hard with it. Then, I kind of blocked out where it's going to go. And I'll softly blend it. So watch this. I'll come in here and I'll softly blend. Use the side of the eraser. Okay. I keep dropping the eraser. Okay, then I have some armpit folds right here. <clears throat> These little things right here on the armpits. I'll come in here and do the same thing. Using a rounded part of the eraser. And really soft, so it's like it's, it should be blurring it out a little bit. Okay, can you see how like soft it is? Like it's not like a line. So I'm softly blending it out. So it's like you barely see it. This one's gonna be the same thing. And you can practice this while I'm going over it in your sketchbook on your demo piece, your demonstration piece. All right, then on the bottom right here, I'll do like a little seam. Okay. Now here, there's another armpit shoulder or fold. Come in here, like lightly blend it. I'll fade it out. It gets lighter near her junk. Junk in the trunk. Okay. I'll erase that out again, get that cleaner. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And I'll zoom in a little more so you can see it better. Okay. Watch this. I'll show you some more folds here. So with folds, eyes on the camera right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, eyes on the camera so you can witness magic. Look up. Look up here. Okay, so watch this. Here's a, here's a fold, right? So I'm going to go like this. Oh, it's a fold. Okay, terrible. This is not good. That's like a D. So a good fold though. So I'm gonna start off kind of tight here where it gets to the neck. Super light though. I'm gonna fade it with my white pencil. Lightly scumble. Fade it out a little bit. So you can barely see it. So it's not really a line you're shading in. Just a value change, that's it. Okay. I don't know if I'm going too fast or not. I don't think so. I think my speed's good. Okay. Watch this. Now, here's another technique. Check this out. Look up here. Look up here. Look up here. Okay, so with this, I'm coming in here like that. With the French curve, I'll be able to like turn it until I get to the neck base. And once I get to that, 
I could start on the template and drag it down. Start on the curve and drag it down a little bit. It could be a nice clean edge. Now it's all crisp and clean, no caffeine. Okay. Maybe I should wait for like 35 seconds. Okay, 35 seconds. This is a 35 second break. You guys get caught up in your notes. Okay, that's good. Now, watch this collar. Eye contact on the screen, people. Let's go. I don't see everybody's eyeballs. Eyeballs. There you go. Okay, so watch this. I'll take this. Scroll uh, for the corner of this. If you don't see it, you may want to exaggerate your uh, collar. So I'll come in here with a little bit of a highlight. Paste that around there, just all the way around. <clears throat> so I got a little bit of a collar there. See that thing? Now, here's where it gets good. I mean, was that kind of fun? Yes. But I'll show you a couple of different tricks here. Uh, famous exact one. I have a bullet all over it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this eraser. What? This eraser. I'm going to carve out some notches in it. So this is like part of the erasing, but how you erase, you could use the soft part of the eraser, or you could use a jagged edge. Depends on your needs. Not your knees, but your needs. Okay, so now, watch this, people. Look up here, here's more magic. Watch the magic. Okay, so watch this. Right here, I'm gonna do like a little collar. I'll go zoom in a little more. So I'm going to do like a little rib collar. Now, even if you don't have a rib collar, you might go, hey, that looks pretty cool. Because it more depth, more texture, a little more interesting. Okay, now I have this little rib collar going around this thing. Okay, so now, write that down, by the way. Write down, uh, just great rib textures. Write down and cut up the eraser, little jig jacks. Okay. And just give me a haul around going too fast. Just say, whoa, slow down a little bit. Okay. Zoom in again right here. Up even closer. Now with this, there's no completion right here. So if you look at that, it's kind of floating on there. You don't really have a definition. So I, erased, I put in the basic values, erased out the highlights. Now I'm gonna add the shadows. Shadow here, Color I could do is start with a line. I'll start with a line right here using a magic pencil. Okay, right now I have a line, then I'll fade it out so like a eyelashes kind of start off dark and fade. Dark and fade. And dark and fade and dark and fade and dark and fade and dark and fade. <clears throat> Get it in there. You can see how fast this is. So even though it's mm, taking us a while, it's like relatively fast compared to the face. Okay, so now I have a little more of a texture to it. So if you zoom out, watch this. If you zoom out, you can see the collar still stands out more. Looks pretty good. All right, now here's another trick. Maybe put like a little asterisk next to the tricks. Okay, see this line right here? Eye contact, watch this. Magic is about to happen in 2020. Okay, right here, it's kind of fuzzy. So the contrast is bad here, look at the contrast. You look at this, compared to that, that little line. Check this out. I'll start with the dark line here. As your shirt goes over your clavicle, um, or your, uh, mainly your sternum and clavicle area. It almost has like a little bit more of a shadow to it. Start dark, super dark, and fade. Dark and fade, dark and fade. Um, that makes it look like it's coming away from the body a little bit, like it's not glued on or made out of like paper. 
So even if it's not in your reference, <clears throat> if you add a little bit of that shadow, it'll really look three-dimensional. And I'll fade that out as well. And notice I'm just using powder graphite, eraser, magic pencil. That's really all you need. Okay, then over here, we've got another seam over here. So you see that seam? I'm going to come in here, the same thing. Watch this, people. It's going to get good again, right here. Map out the seam. <clears throat> we'll start with the dark line. Right now, it's like a dark line, but then I'll come in and fade it. So you start with the dark line, but then you got to fade. And fade and fade and fade and fade and fade and fade and fade. And when you fade it, it doesn't just like uh, end abruptly. So it's like a starts dark, it's lighter and lighter and lighter. <clears throat> Looks like a fold. Um, so now I have another seam right there on the shirt. Okay. Oh, 30 more seconds. Did you guys get caught up again? <clears throat> okay, 30 seconds is up. Watch this. Here's the next phase. So right out in your notes, adding shadows to folds. Adding shadows to folds. <clears throat> what you want is a small little piece of tissue like this. So see this little tissue? It's about the size of like, if you bit off like a baby's pinky. <clears throat> That's about it right there. Now rub off most of the uh, graphite. <clears throat> Highlight right here, so watch this. It's gonna get magical. Eye contact, everybody. So see this little highlight right here? There's a highlight <clears throat> right behind it with this. Come in and add a little bit of a shadow. And then I'll fade it out a little more. Scumbling, blend it out. <clears throat> now with that little shadow that I added on there, then all of a sudden that highlight's starting to make sense. I'll do the same thing here. Shadow, super light, fade it out. See that? <clears throat> Watch this again. Come in here, lightly fade, nice and slow. All of a sudden, bam! You got a shadow and a highlight, you got a wrinkle. <clears throat> so it's way more simple than you might think. Okay, so that's half the shirt. Oh, that might be too much information. Nope, screw it. Let's keep going. All right. I'll show you a couple different things with this. Um, this is going to be like a little different pattern. So watch this. Uh, this is like a woven kind of tapestry. But that, like a sweater, I'll take this thing right here. So see this little choppity chop? Chopped out my eraser. And watch this. Eye contact up here. It's going to get amazing. Watch this, here it goes. Set it down. And then I can go like, tap it a little bit. And I can start getting like a sweater kind of woven tapestry looking just by tapping it. I'll do, I'll do multiple uh, textures here. Here's like uh, part of it. So I'm tapping it in there, going the direction of the shirt. Then I can trade it out and then go diagonal. That'll make it more like a woven sweatery kind of thing. Stevens, I don't like sweaters. Okay, all right, man, tough crowd. Okay, watch this. There's another one here. Eye, con eye contact, watch the magic show. Okay, watch this, here it goes. See this fold here? Ignore that one. Anyway, so watch this. Do stripes. A stripe here. Eye contact, everybody. Watch this. When I go over the fold, watch this. It's going to go up, down, over. Follow in the contour of the shirt. See, I went over the little hoopty umpty. I'll go over another one here. Follow in the same contour. And here as well. 
then you're gonna have to clean off your eraser once in a while. Okay, clean off the eraser. Okay, that's one pattern. So now I have that pattern. And I could stop there, but will I? Oh no. Now I'll come in here, go in this direction. Skinnier. It's like plaid. It's kind of cool. And then here's gonna go down, maybe start to go over the little hump. Over the hump. Back down again. Then here, we do the same thing. Oh, wrong texture. Oh, that's an ugly looking shirt, but still, the patterns are there though, you start to understand that. And then for the shoulder here, I'm gonna do the same thing. It could be like not lined up because it's the shoulder. Over, down, and swing around. It's going around the shoulder. So even though it's like really messy, it's like coming out okay. Well, oh, excuse me, mistake. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. I don't want you guys to get too overwhelmed. That is shirt part one.